Hello everyone, it's Miss Phantom Fangs. I'm doing a video on giant rainforest millipedes. I've got quite a few of these for sale at the moment and people are wanting to know how to care for them. So as well as a care sheet, I thought I'd do up a video so it's you everyone can see it visually. Alright, so this with these guys I keep them in a group because they are communal. And this is a critter keeper, one of the ones with the ventilated sort of lids you can get at pet shops cheap shops things like that okay so these guys I've got uh, cocoa peat as the substrate fairly deep and they eat fruit and vegetables I've got some carrots and cucumber there for them but mostly they eat pulpy wood and they also like uh, leaf litter they will have a munch on the leaf litter uh, they do like moisture, so make sure that your substrate is moist. So here's the pulpy wood. I've also got some sphagnum moss in here because it helps um, with the moisture and also with the humidity because they actually like humidity as well. Um, usually between uh, 70 to 90% humidity. So here's one, I think I've got about five in this container. They're pretty cool to feel them walk on you or the legs simultaneously. So daily I'll mist spray them to make sure that uh, the substrate maintains humidity. Weekly I'll replace the fruit and vegetables. You don't need to change the substrate very often, probably once a year would be suitable. That was a smaller size one. I'll see if I can. Locate a larger one. It's a larger one. So they are pretty cool critters. Pretty easy to care for. They're fairly hard to sex. Uh, males, their two pairs of legs on their seventh segment of their body is modified into gonopods and you really sort of need to use a petri dish or a glass container to have a look at that um, segment on the seventh segment to um, see. But And the females, their legs are all the same so that's, that's how you can sex them. Uh, breeding males wrap themselves around the body of the female and deposit uh, the sperm into her genital opening and the female lays clumps of eggs in the substrate and the babies that obviously hatch out from the eggs and when they come out they're white and they only have uh, three pairs of legs and more legs and body segments develop each time that they molt. They take about two years to reach maturity and can live for more than 10 years. If you stress them out, they can actually emit a substance in it which has a horrible aroma to it and it can stain too, so you need to be careful not to stress them out too much. You don't want to handle them too often. Temperature, you want to keep them at between 20 to 28 degrees Celsius. You don't want to go any hotter than that. Uh, they don't like bright light, so they will, of a daytime, generally be in the substrate and they come out and wander and eat of a night time. So this is pretty much all you need to do with these guys. They're pretty easy to care for. You've got your leaf litter, cocoa peat, your pulpy wood, and that I've just got throughout the enclosure. Fairly easy to care for. And I'll just pop the veggies in the top. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that they need calcium in their diet. Uh, especially if you're breeding for the young young millipedes really really need the calcium so I just get a bit of uh, cuttlefish I just pop 
a bit of that in the enclosure and you do notice that they they nibble on it so yeah these are the millipede set up so if you've got any questions please ask in the comments I do sell these within Australia and post within Australia so if I can help you in any way any questions comments please make sure you do all right thanks everyone